today. Our guest is fabulous, Dr. Murray Buzz Susser, MD. Dr. Susser is well known for blending traditional and alternative medicine, and his expertise in the areas of Lyme disease, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, chelation therapy, as well as bioidentical hormone replacement, and mixed infection syndrome is just second to none. We're so excited to have him on the show. He was actually recently inducted into the Healthy Doctors Health Heroes Hall of Fame and is recommended by the National Health Federation. This is something I teach all my thyroid patients. I teach them to, to check their pulse. Wow. It's, it's important take home. This is one of the most useful facts you'll have about your thyroid gland. As Dr. Murray Susser told us today on Thyroid Nation, it's very important for us to know how to take our pulse in order to understand our thyroid function. You can start by taking your right hand, bring it up to your forehead as if you're going to salute, bring your left hand around, search for your carotid artery, just the side of your windpipe, and take your pulse. It's that easy. To the left side of your neck, right next to your windpipe, you can fill your windpipe easily and then go up about as high as you can in your neck with your middle fingers and you can feel your pulse, your carotid pulse. And that should be around 70 when you're at rest, when you're resting and comfortable. If you're in good physical condition, then you'll be in the neighborhood of 60. If you're not so good, you might be 75 or 80. The point is you have a baseline level. You should have a level that when you're relaxed and comfortable, measure your pulse and say it comes out 70. That's all well and good. But, you're, but you have thyroid symptoms. You're fatigued. You're depressed. You have constipation. You have dry skin. You have hair that's falling. You, you have cold body temperature. You feel like you're, like you're freezing. But there's other thyroid symptoms as well, but you have any number of symptoms of low thyroid. If, if you have low thyroid symptoms, then you have a, a basis for a therapeutic trial. Uh, and if the person has symptoms of low thyroid, and if your baseline is, say, 60, uh, and your symptoms are really obvious, and measure your pulse every day. Measure it in the morning and measure it sometime during the day at a, when, you're, when you're relaxed. Just get, get by yourself for a while and, and make sure you, you check your pulse. If, if, and, and if you get on a thyroid regimen and you, start, and you check your pulse and it starts going up, if it goes up 10 or 15 beats, say it goes up from 60 beats a minute, 70 or 75 beats a minute, and uh, you will usually feel kind of agitated. The, the signs of high thyroid are pretty much the opposite of the signs of low thyroid, except for the fatigue. You get fatigue in both of them, but, but with high thyroid, your pulse is high, your blood pressure is high, your, your skin is moist and sweaty, uh, you, get, you might get trembly, but the first thing you get is an increase in pulse, and you can measure that with a little device that I told you about, saluting across your neck and feeling and feeling the carotid pulse next to your windpipe. 